Ancient Egypt continues to fascinate us today, thousands of years after those magnificent pyramids were built. And while plenty of mysteries still surround this distant era just how did they build the pyramids with no modern equipment? There's one thing we know for sure. The pharaohs and their people loved cats. They weren't so different from us in that respect. But this obsession was taken to lengths that are totally beyond the understanding of us 21st century folk. Cats served an unusual purpose in ancient Egypt that most people wouldn't understand today. For centuries, cats played a big role in ancient Egypt. Everyone from the lower classes to the urban elite had them in their homes, and images of cats adorned many a prestigious tomb. But there was another twist to this love affair, one that took the relationship between humans and felines to a whole new level. And while cats may play a big role in society today, they were more important to the ancient Egyptians. Many even believed that they were worshipped as gods in their own right. But the truth is something far darker a connection that sealed a grim fate for many an unfortunate animal. The relationship between cats and the ancient Egyptians stretches all the way back to the first dynasty, when the kingdom first came together under one ruler. This could have been as far back as the 34th century BC. And among the many deities that emerged during this early period was Maftit, a goddess with a feline head. Today, experts believe that Maftit was seen as the guardian of the pharaoh's home in much the same way real life cats would have kept households free of pests such as snakes. Then, during the second dynasty, the deity Bastet appeared. She was said to be the daughter of the sun god Ra. Initially, Bastet was shown with the head of a lion, and her name adorned the tombs of fourth and fifth dynasty pharaohs. Over time, though, she came to be envisioned as a smaller, domesticated cat. And there were indeed domestic cats in ancient Egypt. A piece of artwork from the civilization suggests humans may have kept felines as pets for more than 4,500 years. At some point, these deities were joined by the goddess Sekhmet also seen as a lioness. She was similarly associated with Ra, and the ancient Egyptians believed she offered protection from bad health and disease. In a 2021 interview with History.com, Missouri State University's Julia Troche explained the connection. In this way, we can see that the ancient Egyptians thought of cats more generally as protectors, while at the same time they respected their ferocity, Troche said. But cats influenced more than just the appearance of the gods. Over the centuries, the creatures appeared in everything from statues to paintings across the realm. During the 11th dynasty, for example, there was a trend for wearing amulets featuring likenesses of cats' heads. Around the same time, a mural was also painted in a tomb that features a feline hunting its rodent prey. And as the centuries passed, such artwork became an increasingly common sight. In the Theban necropolis a sprawling ancient Egyptian cemetery on the banks of the Nile, a number of murals depict cats. In one, a feline feasts on a fish beneath a woman's chair, an image that could be interpreted as relating to fertility. In others, the creatures can be seen tracking prey. Dating to the 18th dynasty, these murals show how the ancient Egyptians' reverence for cats remained strong over the centuries. And during the same period, another artwork was daubed on the tomb of Nebuman, an official who lived in the 14th century BC again. It features a feline subject this time in mid-battle with three birds. The most notable thing about this mural, though, is the gold leaf that has been used to accentuate the cat's eye. And according to the British Museum, where the tomb of Nebuman is on display, this embellishment is unique. This is the only known example of gilding on wall paintings in Theban tomb chapels its website explains. As ancient Egypt moved from the Old Kingdom to the Middle and then the New, cats continued to appear as motifs in artworks and sculptures across the kingdom. But why were they particularly associated with tombs? According to Troche, this practice reveals how close humans were to felines in everyday life. The tomb was one's posthumous house for eternity, Troche explained. In your tombs, you would depict your family, your greatest titles and awards, and the things you enjoyed doing. So, to see cats included in these tableaus speaks to their importance both in the daily lives of ancient Egyptians and in their hope that they continued with them into the hereafter. How exactly did this relationship start, though? Well, as keen predators, the animals would have been just as useful in ancient Egyptian times as they are today. Troche continued, 
Cats might come inside when it was hot, and they in turn would chase away dangerous animals such as snakes, many of which were venomous and scorpions. It's said, too, that the ancient Egyptians saw their pharaohs and gods reflected in the habits of the cat. The animals were able to look after and care for others, yet they could also be ferocious and warlike when crossed. Thanks to these qualities, it's easy to see why cats soon acquired their formidable reputation in ancient Egypt. Another thing to consider is that, just like today, the ancient Egyptians were enthralled to celebrities. So when the latest pharaoh was spotted with a cat padding about his palace, feline accessories became the latest trend. Apparently, some of the kingdom's elite even took to adorning their pets in gold. At the height of their popularity in ancient Egypt, cats were actually so beloved that losing one required an act of mourning. Removing your eyebrows was seen as a suitable tribute. And according to University College London, the word mitt which translates as cat even became a choice of name for baby girls. The ancient Egyptians were certainly obsessed with cats, then. But despite popular beliefs to the contrary, experts don't think that they were actually treated as deities in their own right. Instead, they were regarded as a symbol of the gods, venerated by peasants and pharaohs alike. Even in death, they continued to be held sacred. Cats were not worshipped as gods themselves, but as vessels that the gods chose to inhabit and whose likeness gods chose to adopt Deakin University's Monique Skidmore told History.com. But there was another side to this reverence that manifested itself in a much darker way, as the ancient Egyptians sought feline companions even in the grave. No, the ancient Egyptians didn't just create likenesses of cats to adorn their cities and tombs. According to archaeologists, they were also in the habit of mummifying the creatures and placing them alongside the deceased. And at one time, the practice is believed to have been widespread throughout the kingdom. The oldest known example of cat mummification is believed to date back to 3800 BC, before even the first dynasty came to power. In the ancient city of Hierakonpolis, archaeologists discovered a cemetery where animal bones were interred alongside those of humans. Among the remains of such creatures as hippopotamuses and baboons, it's reported, researchers uncovered bones belonging to six cats, four kittens and a pair of adults. Stranger still, evidence suggested that these were domestic, not wild creatures. So did the ancient Egyptians keep cats as pets, only to sacrifice them in some grim ritual? Certainly, this was occurring during ancient Egypt's late period. With deities such as Bastet still being worshipped, many chose cat mummies as offerings to the gods. But the gesture went beyond the simple appeasement of those higher powers. This offering meant that the deceased person could inhabit the body of the mummified cat in the afterlife Skidmore explained. Unfortunately for ancient Egypt's cats, then, their close association with the gods also made them a prime target for sacrificial offerings. And before long, a whole trade had developed around this unappetizing practice. Experts believe that the breeding of cats for mummification was big business for at least 400 years. And in 2020 a study in the journal Scientific Reports detailed the results of the analysis of ancient Egyptian animal mummies. Among these, it seems, was a cat, and the scans revealed some surprising truths. For one, it appeared the animal was a kitten. Speaking to Live Science, the University of Swansea's Richard Johnston explained, it was a very young cat. But we just hadn't realized that before doing the scanning, because so much of the mummy about 50% of it is made up of the wrapping. When we saw it on the screen, we realized it was young when it died Johnston continued. Not only that, but the unfortunate animal had clearly met with a violent end. The researcher admitted, it was just a bit of a shock. However, Johnston acknowledged that raising and slaughtering felines for mummification was actually quite common at the time. They were often reared for that purpose. It was fairly industrial, you had farms dedicated to selling cats he added. And Skidmore agrees, claiming that the ancient Egyptians had a whole economy based around this macabre activity. In fact, experts believe that mummification was the only valid excuse for killing a cat in ancient Egypt a practice that was outlawed in all other circumstances. And when the creatures died of natural causes, it seems they were treated with a reverence similar to that reserved for our domestic pets today. Apparently, the practice of burying pet cats in special cemeteries began during ancient Egyptian times. 
And in January 2021, it was announced that a group of archaeologists had discovered something remarkable near Berenice, close to the Red Sea. There, they found a number of animal burials dating back to the early Roman era. The fascinating thing about this cemetery, though, is that these creatures appeared to have died naturally. Speaking to Live Science, the Polish Academy of Sciences Marta Sipidska explained, we think that in Berenice the animals were not sacrifices to the gods, but just pets. And out of the 585 total skeletons that were unearthed, 536 are reported to have belonged to cats. Archaeologists also found evidence that some of the cats had physical deformities, meaning they had been cared for even when they had no practical use. Some of them were even buried with valuable grave goods such as beads and collars, further highlighting the important role these domestic creatures must once have played. In the past, it's been suggested those in the ancient world were unfamiliar with pets and would not have domesticated animals in any modern sense of the word. However, discoveries such as this one imply that the connection between humans and cats is deep-rooted and that it has endured through the centuries. After all, one of the most iconic images of ancient Egypt takes the form of a human-cat hybrid. Gazing out over the Giza Plateau, the Great Sphinx depicts a creature with the body of a lion and a woman's face. Today, it's believed that these beasts were constructed in order to serve as protectors of a sort of sacred buildings and tombs. Carved in the 26th century BC, the Great Sphinx is one of the most well-known examples of this practice. And all around the world, it is recognized as a symbol of the ancient Egyptians and their enduring love for all things feline. In reality, though, the kitty mania that spanned thousands of years eventually petered out. After Alexander the Great conquered Egypt in 332 BC, the role of the cat in this ancient society began to change. Under Greek influence, Bastet was linked with the goddess Isis, and feline sacrifices continued throughout the Hellenistic period. Then, in 30 BC, the region came under the umbrella of the Roman Empire, and everything shifted once more. Determined to stamp out practices they deemed to be pagan, the Romans issued laws effectively banning the ancient Egyptian religions. And by the end of the 4th century AD, they had outlawed both sacrifices and cult burials. The connection between religion and cats was severed to make way for Christian beliefs. So what is the role of these creatures in Egypt today almost 6,000 years after those cats were mummified at Hierakonpolis? Well, while they may no longer be revered as sacred, there's evidence to suggest that a particularly close relationship has persisted through the years. Take, for example, the findings of the adventurer Arnold von Harf, who visited the country in the 15th century. Supposedly, von Harf found that cats were still given special treatment by the local Mamluk population. And hundreds of years later, in the 21st century, Egypt is almost exclusively an Islamic country, and Islam also holds the creatures in high regard. In other words, traces of the ancients' fascination with felines remain even today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.